the next set of exercises I've put together for you is called Easy Cardio, and it's a set of 10 different exercises. And again, I'm gonna give you different levels of entry. So level one will be the easiest, level two, and then level three. So as before, I'd like you to pick the level that's right for you. I'd always much rather you go for an easier level and gradually work your way up, rather than going too high and then not be able to keep it up, or maybe cause yourself an injury or get disheartened because you may not be able to keep up with the 10 exercises. So the first we're gonna do is jumping jacks. Now for this one, I will give you two options. There's a half jack or a full jack. So the half jack, our legs are gonna be tapping out side to side, parallel every time. So you're stacking your hips, knees and feet and the arms are gonna be going out and in. So that's your half jack and your easier option, non-impact option, okay? Everything parallel, that's the key for this one. The full jack is adding a jump and two legs working at the same time. So you're jacking out and in that way. And those are your two different levels to work at. So either way, we're gonna do 10 repetitions, okay? I'm gonna do the full jack to demonstrate, but as I said, pick the level that's right for you. So 10, here we go. And one, two. Make sure as you're doing it, hip, knees and feet are all aligned, nice and parallel, and a slow, steady space. Eight. Nine and 10. Fabulous. The next one we're going to do is heel flicks. Now with the heel flicks, you're aiming to kick your bottom on each one. I'm gonna give you two different options for this. The easier option is without a jump. The harder option is with a jump. So if I show you from the side on, easier version is flicking your heels this way. You'll feel it working the back of your legs. Harder option is with a jump in. So you're aiming to kick that bottom each time. That's the idea. You'll feel it working all up here. And again, with it being cardio, your heart rate will get elevated. And you should start to feel hot and sweaty, a little bit out of breath. So we're gonna go for 10 sets on this one. I'm gonna show you the one with the jump and with the impact, okay? Hands either by your sides, by your hip, uh, on your hips here, by your ears, up to you. Down by your sides would be easiest. This slightly harder and this slightly harder again, only that it's working your core more. Okay, so I'm gonna go for 10 repetitions with the jump. So heel flicks, off we go. One, two. Each time, putting your core in nice and tall. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, as you get better at these exercises, you'll be able to do more repetitions and gradually increase it. One day you could do 10, next day possibly take it up to 12 and 14 just keep going gradually so that it works for you the next one we're going to do is moon leaps now these can be done on the spot can be done traveling a moon leap is basically a big skip so you big legs and big arms now to increase the intensity higher jump and bigger arm movement to take it down a level, smaller leg movements, smaller arm movements. And again, you can just rack it up as you see fit and as you, as you feel you can do it better. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a few coming back and forward. We're gonna go for 10 seconds on this one. So if I show you going along, we're gonna be doing skips this way. Okay, it can be done anywhere. Traveling around on the spot, completely up to you. So skipping like that. As I say, the bigger the movement, the more cardio workout you're gonna get from it. So for 10 seconds, we're gonna go for this. I'll do it on the spot, 10 seconds worth. Off we go. And one, two, three, four, five, big as you can, and six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. And those are your moon leaps. Next exercise, speed ball runs. So these are your runs on the spot. Again, it's easy to ratchet this up. If you want to make it a little harder for yourself, you run faster on the spot. If you want to take it back a level, slow the pace down, as long as you're moving. Again, you can increase what you're doing with your arms. So 
lower intensity, slow pace, small arm movement. The faster you go and the bigger the arm movement, the more of a cardio workout you're going to get. Either way, get nice and parallel, parallel arm movements and nice and steady, okay? We're gonna go for 10 seconds, get it at the right pace for you. Here we go, 10 seconds. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is your speed ball run. The next one we're going to do is an explosive squat. So three different options for this one. Squat, parallel legs. Hips, knees and feet all stacked. Everything parallel, facing forward. When you go down into your squat, bottom right back and out, and your chest facing forwards. Eye line up. No hunchbacks, no arched backs, holding in your core with the correct technique. If I show you level one to start with, it's gonna be a plain squat and then a calf raise. So again, nice and parallel as you rise up. Level two, slightly bit harder. A squat with a small jump, that way. That's your level two level. If you want to take it up a little bit more, just increase the jump, make it that much bigger. So a squat and a big jump. Squat and big jump. So again, this one is easy to ratchet up or to take back. Pick the level that's right for you. And ideally to keep it consistent over those 10 exercises. So. 10 repetitions. I'm going to go for level two. So it's a squat with a smaller jump. Okay, nice and parallel. Bottom back and out, chest lifted on each one. 10 repetitions. Off we go. And one, two. Nice and slow and steady. Three, four. Bottom out every time. Chest nice and lifted. Six, and seven. Landing parallel every time. Eight, weight back on your heels in the squat. Last one, 10. And those are explosive squats. The next exercise we're going to do is a side step with a jump. Now, again, similar to the one we've just done, we can ratchet it up by increasing the jump. So, an easier level would be side step, and a calf raise. Side step and calf raise. That's your level one, your entry level. To take it up a level to level two, we're gonna do a side step and a small jump. So, side step, small jump. Side step, small jump. That's level two. Level three, the same as we just did, but with a higher jump. So, side step and jump. Side step and jump. Okay, so again, easy to ratchet up. Easy to bring back. Pick a level that's right for you, making sure your technique is correct. Every time you land, parallel legs. Hips, knees and feet all aligned. No twisting, no buckling. Otherwise we could cause an injury, which we don't want. Lovely and parallel. So I'm gonna do level two for you. So the side step with a small jump. We're gonna do 10 of those. Okay, one. And two. So, nice and parallel every time you land. Pulling up from the middle of your head, pulling up in your core every time. No slouching. Seven, eight, last two, nine, and 10. Those are your side steps with jump or with calf raise, depending on your ability. Okay, our next exercise is called burpees. I'm gonna give you different levels of ability for this one. So again, you take it to the level you're comfortable at, making sure your technique is correct every single time. So I'm gonna show you side on. Level one, we're going down to the ground. We're taking one leg back at a time, bringing one leg back in at a time, standing up and a calf raise. There's no impact, there's no jumping. This is the basic level, okay? So we're going down, taking one leg out, two legs out, one leg in, two legs in, coming up, and a calf raise. So that's your level one. Your level two, we're gonna be going down, one leg out, and in at a time, coming up, and there's gonna be a jump 
instead of the calf raise. So you're gonna start to add impact. So we're going down, one leg, one leg, and a jump. That's your level two. Level three is jumping both times. So as we go down, you're jumping both legs out together, jumping both legs in together, and a jump at the end, okay? This is your harder level. As I say, take it at your pace, okay? Don't push yourself too hard. I'd rather the technique was correct and you're comfortable with it rather than pushing yourself too far and then feeling like you failed, okay? So 10 of these. I'm gonna go level two, okay? So to give you middle of the road options. 10, off we go. So, two legs out into a nice flat plank position and up. Now as you go down, hold your core. If you can feel straight on your lower back, you're not holding your core enough. So you go down, take your legs back, hold your core nice and firm. Legs back in nice and parallel and jump. Again, slow and steady is far better than rush with bad technique. And five. Six. Every time you land from the jump, again, nice and parallel. Seven. Eight. This exercise, as well as it being cardio, works the entire body. It's a brilliant one. Nine, holding onto your core. And last one. And 10. So those are your burpees with the three different variations. Okay, next one is high knees. So with this one, we're gonna take the intensity up by bringing the knees higher. So for low intensity, low knees. Once you take it up a bit, higher knees, up again, higher. So it's a really easy one to gradually increase or decrease. See how you go, see what feels right for you. Whatever version you're doing, like you're putting it through the middle of your head, holding your core in nice and firm. If I show you from side on, this should all be still. The movement and the work is going from the legs underneath. And the way to get that stability is by holding your core. This is your key to everything. Keep it nice and solid, everything else can work around it. So, that's what it should look like. No forward and back, no hunching over as it gets harder. Pull up tall, make this work, okay? We're gonna go for 10 seconds with this one. As I say, pitch it at the level that's right for you. Take the legs up to the right level that you can keep going consistently for for 10 seconds, okay? Arms easily swinging side to side. 10 seconds off we go. One, two, three, four, five, Keep pulling up tall, hold your core in. Seven, eight, and nine, and 10. Those are your high knees. Pulling in here, pulling up nice and tall, keeping this controlled. The next one we're going for is a hamstring curl. Now, with this one, again, I'm gonna give you different options. Uh, for the easier option, we're going to keep it non-impact. For the slightly harder option, we're going to add a jump in there. So, level one. We're going to do a squat and a curl. That's your level one. It's still a cardio exercise, but with no impact. Take it up to level two. We're going to add a jump in there. So we're jumping and jumping. Now, every time you land, hips, knees and feet all aligned. They have to be. If you start twisting, you're going to do yourself some mischief. Damage knees, ankles, hips, it's not gonna work. Everything parallel, okay? Every single time you land, whether it's one leg or two legs, nice and parallel. So that's level two with the jump. Level three, you can add some arms in. Bit of artistic license. You can add a push to the front. You can add a shoulder press going up, up to you. But it adds an extra element and makes you that little bit harder. So if I show you level three, we can add the chest press here or the shoulder press here, okay? As always, tailor it to you. Work out what's best with your fitness. You might not particularly be coordinated, so the arms might be a bit too much. If so, I'd rather you keep your hands on your hips and concentrate on technique on your legs. Always pulling in here, 
always putting in your core, keep this stable and solid. It will always be easier to move your legs and everything else around it if this is secure. So landing parallel every single time. We're gonna go for 10 repetitions on this. I'm gonna go for level two, which is the one with a jump and hands on hips. So 10 sets, now on one, two. Nice soft landing, pulled up through the top of my head, pulling in here, and five, and six, and seven, nice solid core, eight, and nine, last one, 10. There we are. So our last exercise, our 10th one, is the grapevine. I'm gonna give you three different options again. Uh, the first two without impact, the hardest one with impact, okay? So the first level, <clears throat> we're gonna make it side steps. It's gonna be a double side step. And then the other way. Keep going side to side. This version may be easier for you if you're not the best at coordination. I'd rather you concentrate on technique rather than coordinating the grapevine, okay? So everything parallel, two side steps, two back, and keep alternating. That's level one. Level two, we're gonna do the grapevine. So it's step, behind, step, together. Step, behind, step, together. Now, level two, we can start to put some bounce into it, okay? Just take the heart rate up a little bit. Arms can swing, nice and easy by your side. The arms aren't important. Nice and free and easy while the legs are doing the work, okay? So that's level two. Level three, bigger jumps and more effort into it to get that heart rate up a little bit more. So, level three, you can put a jump in at the end. Okay? And that's your third level. Okay? So not tricky, but just up another little level, taking that heart rate up slightly. So I'm gonna go with level three for you. We're gonna do 10 sets of grapevines side to side. Okay? So, all the way through, think about putting up nice and tall, pulling in your core, giving your body that support that it needs while your legs are doing the work underneath. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, pulling up nice and tall. Eight, nine, and 10. There we go. So those are your grapevines, and that was level three. So that's the end of our easy cardio session. I gave you 10 exercises in that set. Now for each one I gave you different levels of intensity, usually those are level one, two and three, and you have the choice. So go in, if anything, go in nice and easy, making sure your technique is correct, make sure you're comfortable with each exercise before you then start to increase the intensity or the repetitions. Don't go in too hard, too fast, otherwise you'll feel you've let yourself down possibly. You may be able to complete the exercises, you may have an injury because your technique isn't correct. Go nice and easy and gradually ratchet it up. Remember, so this is low intensity fitness training. We're not going for gold at this point, we're going in for technique and easy exercises that we can gradually build on and increase your confidence and your strength with. You can pick and choose from the 10. You can whittle it down and pick one or two out of them depending on your ability or depending on how much time you have free. Or if you're able to do all 10 exercises back to back, fantastic. Whatever you choose to do, make sure, as I say, technique is correct and you're going in at a level that you're comfortable with. However you pick and choose them, I hope you have fun. Enjoy.